all right guys welcome back to another episode of rookie to master uh we got to gold one on stream and then the season finished again bro these seasons need to stop finishing so soon but we were live on stream and our tri brigade deck unfortunately kind of hit an obstacle as many of you were expecting we decided on our previous live stream to decide that was it with our tri brigade deck and that it was never going to get to master the tri brigade deck has been somewhat it's not viable anymore Let's just put it that way. It's not viable anymore. So what did we do? We went with our next best alternative. The deck that wasn't going to get hit this ban list. We went with Icebreakers. Yes. And now today we will be carrying on from where we left off with our Icebreaker deck. So we are back down to Silver 5. We should get to gold in no time with this deck. So let's begin our journey with the Ice Barriers. Okay, so we're going first. Going first is always good for Icebreakers. And let's see what our opponent Nero has. Uh, if you haven't watched my reaction to the September ban list, a noob's reaction to a ban list where he understands nothing at all, then make sure to do so. Now, let's get into the game. We draw out our normal hand. I just need to remember how to play this as well. So we go in with Hexa. He has a hand trap. Also, don't mind, don't mind, don't mind my spot. Effect Veiler. We can activate Speaker for Ice Barrier. We're going to go into this. And then through Speaker, we can... Uh, go into our anemone. We're gonna send that and that to the graveyard. Let's see how we could play off our effect veiler. Because right now, he effect veiled Hexa, which is, which means he knows how to play. But at the end of the day, if I bring Hexa back, do I get to activate his effect? Let's see. Oh no, it's not. I can activate his effect now that it's returned. So we send magic, and we just pop off with our. Uh, da, da, da. let's see what card do we want to add to our hand let's get speaker um gorgeous let's get gorgeous that's not speaker speakers in a graveyard activate effect we want to play this special summon speaker from the graveyard with gorgeous's effect we go straight into lancia from this so we have lancia set up and then through this we can activate speaker's effect to get a token and with that token i think we will be able to do something no okay apparently not i don't have link for monsters this isn't a viable board but this is what we made from our hand i probably could have played better but it is what it is okay we're playing crystal rose so gem knights adaman scepters okay i mean why not let's see if this works because it's not really synchro summoned change the battle position of a monster yeah sure Okay, his effects don't pop off from Lancia, so that's a bad play. All right, no problem, no problem. This is only the first game. It don't mean much. It's okay. Yes. Wait, let's special summon um, Raiho. Raiho, yeah. Yep. We're going to go with General Raiho. General Raiho is really good in general. Um, sure, let's just change the battle position of him to zero. If I had a card that dealt piercing damage, that would really boost this deck. Because, like, imagine Lancia, you turn them to defense position, you bring out Reaper, you bring out Raiho, you bring out Gorgeous, and then he can't really do anything. Because every time he needs to um, do something, he's in defense position. I don't know what I'm talking about. We would technically be able to inflict piercing damage, and they won't be able to get a defense position as well, which is obviously good for us. Now, he played Gem Knight Phantom Quartz. He's going to have to. If he's going to activate... Yep, you're going to have to get rid of a card, my guy. Gem Knight Fusion. Uh, I don't think he's... He's got Gem Knight Fusion. He's going to Fusion Summon. But sure, let's just use it because we can. And we wait. And we wait. And we wait. Nero from Devil May Cry with an extra R is making us wait. Goddamn. Two hours later. And we're still waiting. And we are still waiting. Nero. Hello. Mr. Nero. Nero Nero Chocolate. Oh, there we go. Yep. Get rid of one of your cards, please. He got rid of Gem Fusion. Okay, so we must really need the other card. And he's realizing that... If he's to activate the next card's effect, <laughs> he's going to have to do the same thing. Okay, who are you bringing on? Who are you bringing on? Let's see. Gem Knight, okay. He has 2,400 attack with no... Uh, that's just about enough to get rid of my Raiho. And I can't even use Lancia's effect. Oh, wait. Um, it's treated as a Synchro Summon, so have fun. 
Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Activate its effect. Let's get rid of all his cards. Yes. Banish a card from the field. Goodbye. I don't need that. Banish a card from the graveyard. Uh, let's get rid of, I don't know, Gem Knight Fusion. Can he do anything with this? Nope. Okay, let's just get rid of Gem Knight Fusion. And he has no cards in his hand as well. It's looking like a... It's looking good, man. You're going to have to end turn because you got nothing else to play. I mean, you could go into a tuner if you have a level 5 tuner. You thought you had me there, didn't you? You thought you had me, but you don't know the power of the ice barriers. I need to wait. So that's how you use Lancia. That's, that's, that's a, like, you go into Lancia, if it gets sent to the graveyard, that's when you bring out uh, Zero Dragon. Okay, what's he going with? He's going with another Gem Knight Quartz. He's going to sacrifice. Oh, he can't do that again. I don't know why he just did that. But sure. Yep, and there's the scoop. That is a win. So, because he, after he dies, the special summon is treated as a synchro summon. So that's how we use the dragon's effects, not the way I used it earlier. Okay, so that's our first win of the day. Let's go into game two. Waiting for opponent. We played rough there. We didn't even play properly. Like, the combos were rough. We got Effect Veiled first turn. We couldn't go into our Coco Pops Dragon. We're going second this time. I think he's playing Cyber and Dragon. Um, or Cyber Dragons, like Dark Cybers. What makes you think that guy? I don't know. I just have a feeling, man. We got Ice Jade Run. We have two medallions, which is really dope you can discard one of our ice shade cards so we can go into a level 10 straight away ice jade gamer is good is a good shout um let's use draw unlock but i didn't see what he used but sure do, do, do. Do, 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 do. and phaser ho oh, is it a ubel bro i swear to god if i come if i play against another ubel i'm gonna be pissed i think this is how we play this i, I can't remember bro. damn i forgot so we send it with we send it to the graveyard with Salomon Great. And then our Mirage is gonna send it and then we use its effect in the graveyard, which is going to add one of these cards to my hand. Uh I think it was freezing. Yep. Because freezing allows us to bring back Mirror Jade. We tribute our Mirage. God damn, I'm sorry guys. I'm probably doing this really bad. But we're gonna go into Coral Dragon. It still works. 5 plus 1 equals Coral Dragon. I think I went. Uh, I go into Medallion. There's our Coral Dragon. We don't have Speaker in the graveyard. That's our problem now. But we're going to go into it. No worries. Yep. And then we're going to Special Summon Speaker. We want a 6 plus 4 with Gorgeous first. So let's get Gorgeous into our hand because we can Special Summon him. And then we go into Lancia with Gorgeous and Speaker. There we go. And then since Speaker's in the graveyard now, we could get another token to bring out Coco Pops, which is going to enable us to draw more cards now. Yes, 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 yes. Probably not the most efficient way of playing this turn, but it is what it is. And now we go into Coco Pops Dragon using our tokens and our Coral Dragon. Use both effects. Yes, and Coral Dragon to draw more cards. Thank you. This is going to be one of the strongest boards that we've had. Uh, no, we don't need to. Because we still have Ice Jade in our hand as well. And then three more. There we go. Okay, now we activate Ice Jade. Let's summon Ice Jade. Who's going to summon a token as well? And then we go into a level 10. That's for Banish. Let's go into a Ice Shade Gamer. Aubergine. Yes, yes. It's a really strong board to start off with. We have an effect negates. We have Lancia. We have everything else. This board is looking good. We got Maxi in our hand. Ice Jade Run to start. Our next turn. Um, wait, if this goes through. OTK. I didn't even realize. I thought this was turn one. Because he didn't have anything on the field. Well, okay. He he scooped because it was game over. And now we go into game three. Let's go. Oh, nice. We get to go first. I really do need to brush up on my ice shade skills. I do accept that. I do accept it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, how we're going to play this. We're going to do the same as last turn. Uh, no, we're not. We're going to go into gorgeous next. Who's going to bring out no one can go into an enemy like this. Yep. Oh, no, I need speaker. And then speaker brings out gorgeous and then da 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 yada yada yada. Yep. Okay. And there we go. An enemy. So let's use mirror mage's effect and bring out speaker. Well, sp get speaker to our hand. And then we use an enemy's effect to get mirror mage back onto the field. Thank you very much. And then we use mirror mage's effect soon. Actually, we use it now to pop an enemy. And then through this, we're going to get our tokens. 
Yes, yes. And then we go into our very blessed Coral Dragon. So Coral Dragon is going to go here. Let's play speaker because I needed speaker in the graveyard. Yeah, I misplayed. I misplayed so hard. I should have waited for Gorgeous. This is where I would play Gorgeous. Then I would synchro summon into Lancia. But here we're going to go with Dragite. So yeah, this is where we would have summoned Gorgeous and then fused them, synchroed them into, you know, a level 10 Lancia. I kind of misplayed. I don't know why I did that. My bad, my bad. This board could have been so much better. Oh, you're playing Gem Knights as well. Again, what's with everyone playing Gem Knights? Okay, Maxi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get rid of that. Bye-bye. Goodbye. We don't need any of that here. Yep, destroy it as well. Thank you very much. And that's our... Target one monster in Evil Graveyard. You're going for my monster? Who are you going for? Who are you going to summon? Coral Dragon. Okay. Thank you. Oh, come on, man. Gonna get rid of my Dragite. Oh, that's a shame. Battle phaser. One thousand five hundred damage is nothing. I don't know why it asked, but it's fine. And turn um sets a card down as well. We should be fine. Draw Nibiru. Hmm. Not really the card I was looking for. But we have freezing chains that we could start with. So we will bring used effect. Yes, please. We're going to go with mirror magic mage. Face up attack position. I want to use Salomon Great Armorage. Why can't I Salomon Great? Bad. Sure. Might be able to go into Anemone. I can't because Anemone's... Anemone's not even there, man. I've misplayed. I don't know if I scoop. We'll see. Gonna take a bit more damage. I can't believe we're gonna lose to Gem Knights. It's because I didn't play properly, man. Now we use Infinite Imperm. I wanna use Imperm. Yep, there we go. Thank you. That's fine, that's fine. We might be able to turn this around. Okay, we should be able to turn this around if I don't misplay. So we go Hexa. Hexa is going to send Mirror Mage into the graveyard. Yep. And then Mirror Mage is going to bring a Medallion to my hand. Or Speaker, but we go Medallion. And then we're going to use Medallion. To bring Speaker into our hand. Where is he? Speaker. Yep. And then we use Speaker to go into... I mean, I think we could go into Baron de Fleur right now as well. We're going to have to go into Baron de Fleur. Yeah. We're going to have to play like this. Because we don't have an enemy. So we can't, we can't do the actual... We can't actually do the setup. And then that goes into that. And then we go straight into um i mean we can go into anything else but a baron right now baron de fleur you baron de fleur is going to change the tide of battle here baron de fleur you can target one card on the field destroy it yes we want to get rid of these monsters to be honest and then we activate oh there we go what's he doing if a face-up gem knight monster you control is destroyed by your opponent's attack or card effect target one of those destroy inflict damage to your opponent equal to his original attack well we activate baron the floor again we negate yep now we know his back row is kind of fucked as well that's not gonna do anything there we go and then i could tribute one other effect monster bring out okay let's see if we could end the game here that's speaker right yep okay so we tribute hexa here 
and then we're gonna get three tokens and then we can go into we don't go into coral dragon we go into white aura whale that should kill a uh, coral dragon when this card is synchro summoned you can destroy all your opponents attack this position monsters oh well there we go we just got rid of his board immediately just like that and now we can attack it's a free board he has no cards in his hand we have turned the game around and this is the power of ice barriers i mean we're playing up against a gem knight but it is what it is main phase two we can't end this turn we're gonna have to wait he's gonna draw one card and with one card we have an ash in our hand we have a cord by the grave and well i don't think nibiru is really good on, gonna do anything but i'm sensing a scoop coming is it going to oh no 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 no! we don't want to do that we don't want to do that we keep baron the fleur and whatever he plays okay we can negate or we could just, you know, end the game. I don't want to make anything. We're just going to go and end the game right now. White Aura Whale, attack for game. Boom, and there we go. He thought he was winning. That's not happening today, my guy. That's not happening today. There we go. That's three out of three. Oh, and we are playing against Akaru, I think um, his name is. I'm not sure. I used to be able to read Japanese. But we're going first. Hopefully we get a good hand. Because I don't remember every single one of the combos. I've kind of forgotten, you know. But yeah, this is looking like a standard Hexa one card combo into Coco Pops Dragon and everything else. With Speaker in our hand and everything else as well. So we should be able to end on a good uh, board here. It's a Maxi. Okay, he's going to draw a fuck ton of cards. Oh, draw a Lockbird. Nope. So he can't use Max C anymore. That's fine. But hopefully I can still make my play. Yeah, I can. Oh no, my Coral Dragon. Yeah, okay. My Coral Dragon's not really going to do anything at the moment. But we don't need it to. It would have been nice. My Coral Dragon and my Coco Pops Dragon. It would have been nice to uh, be able to draw, obviously. But, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. Now, let's go into a Coco Pops Dragon so we can actually negate. Um, we'll have a negate on the field. Even though he's not going to be too strong, we are going to have at least a negate on the field. So let's get another token. And by negate, I mean Coco Pops' effect. So, yep, let's put him in attack position. He's not going to have that much attack, but it's fine. So, yeah, that's that's what we're going to play with, I guess. I mean, we, we can only do that once, which kind of sucks. We kind of trapped us, but we did special summon a lot. He was going to have a fuck ton of cards to go into any combo he wanted. And we did not want to do that. So let's see. He's going to set two cards. He has four cards in hand. And maybe he just ends turn. Nope. He's going to go Magician Souls. So Dark Magician deck. This is fine. We don't want to do this yet. I mean, we have two medallions. If he gets rid of Coco Pops, it's not too much of a big deal. The attacks are the same. He brings Dark Magician on the field. I could get rid of it now, but I don't want to get rid of my cards yet. Unless I really have to. Because med two medallions just means a Lancia straight up. Okay, now we want to actually activate this effect. Yeah, we're going to discard Magic Mirror Mace and then this as well. And we're going to pop his... Uh, Dark Magician. Yep, and then we can add a card to our hand for next turn. We're going to add Speaker to the hand. So we could just summon it straight away and then go into a Lancio maybe next turn. With the help of Medallion. And depending on what card we draw, we should be able to turn this around. Right now, we're going to take some damage like we did in the previous game. But we should be cooking. It's fine. I mean... These games have been rough today, and that's mostly because I forgot the combos. Like, if I was... If I'd, I should have done some training before actually recording. But I wanted to get some content, Yu-Gi-Oh! content out for you guys. And since we moved on to Ice Barriers for our Rookie to Master, we're going to continue with Ice Barriers until we hit Master. We should be able to hit Master with Ice Barriers, hopefully. But, yeah. There we go. We've taken some damage now. Phase. Let's see. What do we draw? Called by Grave. Not too bad. Not too shabby. He has two set cards in the back row, which is kind of giving me the chills. Uh, but we're going to summon Speaker. He's going to summon... Yep, okay. Well, let's call by the grave, because I don't want Dark Magician on the field. Okay, now that's going to use uh, one of the other effects. What? Was that from his hand? Oh, it was from his hand. 
And then we're gonna bring out Gorgeous so we can special summon. Yes, yes. And then into magic. Now this says, if this card leaves the field, destroy all monsters you control. Okay, so if we target this, this is actually good. We could go into Baron the Flow and just destroy it, to be honest. Yeah, we're going into Baron. Baron's going to come in clutch again. I don't know what his other set card is. But wherever it is, we are not going to... We're going to get rid of this. And goodbye. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. I was gonna, tr I was thinking about tribute in a token, and I was gonna click it, and it was just gonna be like, oh, you need to tribute Baron now, and it was just gonna be like moo new, and it was just gonna be new plays. But you know, now he only has one card in his hand and one set card, so we are slowly turning this around. Baron should lock him down, and we should turn this around with Baron de Fleur. I need to change my board. Oh, there we go. There's the scoop. Voila. And just like that, the game turns around. Silver free. Let's go. I do need to change the board because the red shines on my face. And my face looks red and evil throughout the whole video. But it is what it is. We're on silver free now. We'll keep on going. Two ranks every episode. And then we'll eventually hit a live when we're not doing a Pokemon Nuzlocke or a Space Marines. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace out. Kyle logging out.